this is Mallorca, and we are staying here, Santa Ponsa. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. I have arrived here in Mallorca. Yeah, I've just arrived at the hotel and it's looking pretty nice. I haven't gotten in yet, but the exterior is fabulous. Highly rated. I also have this stone, which is... But now for the room tour. We have a motor, some shelving units, a kitchen, a fatter, three beds. I don't know how it's happening because we ordered four. And then outside, we have a gorgeous view with balcony. Start this day off properly. Welcome to Palza Marcerante Resort in Santa Ponsa, Mallorca. We arrived last night at best past 1 a.m. and even got gifted a luscious red apple on entry. What a fairy tale like gesture. Now we have just vaguely planned the day to come and we are off to the town. So we are here in Santa Ponsa for exactly one week, seven days, for our Halloween break, which is not too bad. The temperatures are around 20, 21 degrees, which is manageable, and the nights are pretty warm as well, so it's perfect. From our hotel to the main supermarket, Oasis Supermarket, it's about a five minute walk. Stepping back from the supermarket and taking a left, you have the main street. Now this goes the whole way around, it's pretty nice. But here you have the beach, which is gorgeous in my opinion. My family just got three baguettes, they are 50 cent each and they're this nice pasty white cream color. As you can see, the whole beach is all nice and clean. The water is really blue. There's even water slides or slides. We might go on them in a few days, but for now, we'll leave that on the side. I'm just liking it so far. I was considering showing you every single shop that we were going to, but I think that's a bit too much. So here's a glimpse. They have a pharmacy, they have a jewelry stores, they have clothes. We have camera shops. There is everything you can want. Also a load of food shop. You also have a load of random souvenir shops and way, way too many restaurants and cafes. In the main roundabout right beside the beach, you have, you have a bus stop, your way to the beach, taxi station and just shops everywhere. There is a supermarket this side and that side and there is one behind me. There is everything you can want. It's only turning 11 a.m. right now and it's about 22 degrees. It's so warm. The sun is beaming and we're pretty much in November. This is unheard of. Now yeah, this is Pirates Village. I've seen flowers in this and tourist information. Seems pretty good. We might actually go there. But back to the apartment. Let me actually show you outside. Sandra, I'm not going to be recording on this Fujifilm camera for my pool ventures, but check out this underwater footage that my dad just shot. It's pretty damn cool. Wow. That's all for now. We are practically on top of the hotel. There is no further way up. But wow, look at this view. Absolutely incredible. And by the way, we're like three, four stories up. So they have games lounge and library. There's library right here. Games right there. General lounge with seats, free apples, toilets. Then there's a social club with pool, massive chairs, and a few games. Just like the rest of Spain and Mallorca, it is littered with cats. 
That one is gorgeous. You guys are probably so confused and what just went down and to be honest, so am I. But anyways, here's how it went down in a nice chronological order. We went to Santa Ponce, had done some shopping, came back to the apartment around 2 p.m. with a load of bags, way too many. Then we kind of made dinner, it was a gorgeous meal, pasta, some mushrooms, courgettes, and some pasta sauce. Oh yeah, and not to forget, some spices. Really nice. We made some coffee, um, drank some wine, and then went to the pool for a few hours. Then at 4 p.m. we just walked back to Santa Ponsa, found a bus, didn't really know where it went, and we took it. And now we are here in Port de Antrax. Yeah, yeah. The bus took around an hour, and we're just trying to figure this out. Yeah, this bus ride was so unexpected, but isn't it beautiful here, Sandra? It is, it is. We have just found another Eroski and we bought some ice cream, chocolate and three non-alcohol beers. So brilliant. But I'm loving this country. Port Dantrax is appearing pretty dead at this hour. There is not much shops open. There's just a supermarket, maybe a few pharmacies. But most people are either off the streets or in restaurants. But having said that, it is 10 to 6 p.m. on a Sunday. So yeah. Right, so you see that it's like ten past six and they're just power boarding in a lagoon what is going on here well it's probably a bay but still it is square past seven now and we're going back to our apartment i enjoyed our trip the town wasn't as good as we thought but the sunset was fabulous i'll show up a picture of it right now for the time being i'm going to charge the battery and i'm going to wait to show a half nine tonight <laughs> 